Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Twisted Strands, episode 116. My name is JD, and this episode is brought to you by River Horse Hippo Lantern Imperial Pumpkin Ale, brewed with pumpkin puree and spices. That sounds disgusting, but it actually tastes kind of good. Quite the holiday ale, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all my viewers, new and old. And thank you. Anyway, um, you can subscribe to the podcast using the subscribe button if you like it. <coughs> and I hope you do. Thank you for subscribing if you have in the past. I really do appreciate all the people in the group and the people who view my podcast. I know it's tougher now that we're not on iTunes at all, but hey, can't do it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, wow, halfway through September already. Can you believe that shit? <sighs> I'm just kind of enjoying the cooler weather. Even though I have the fans still on, it is a lot cooler and the trees are just starting to turn in New Jersey and it's, yeah, things are perking up. So, let's see. What am I working on? Um, oh, let me start with some yarn. I finished my tempted Shaviat, shav I think is what it's called. And it came out to light worsted, almost DK weight yarn. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if it'll focus on it at all. Focus. Oh, what a stinker. Anyway, it's all wool and it's clearly not super wash. But I really love the colors. I got about 153 approximately wraps on the knot, the um, nitty knotty that I have, and it's not perfectly even, but it, it is pretty well balanced, at least for a genie yarn. See. So I'm very happy with how it came out. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Like I said, it's not quite next to the skin, but I think it would make a nice pair of mittens. <coughs> ah, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> That's lovely. Anyway, I'm a delicate flower, what can I say? Alright, so that's one of the new things in yarn. I also went to a yard sale, two yard sales I went to that were advertised on Craigslist. So I went there early Saturday morning and this is the only kind of early Saturday morning that I'm usually willing to do for Rhinebeck, but I figured get out there and Buy some washable wool. Jesus. Christ. Sorry. <laughs> A freaking phone call. At least it's not my cell phone. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah, so anyway, I went to two yard sales that were advertised on Craigslist at an unholy hour on Saturday morning and for five bucks I got a bag filled overflowing with woolies and some acrylic and so even a few pieces of fabric that were really nifty. I mean they were a bit garage smelly. I'm not gonna let it join the rest of the stash but I think it'll be awesome for some charity knits that I want to do 
coming up this winter. So, worst comes to worst, I'll join Sadie's Snuggle drive again, of course, and I'll use it for that. And it'll get a good wash before it goes out to anybody. Oh, so... Let's see. Yes, oh, and then the second place I went to, they had very cruddy yarn, mostly just partial balls or novelty yarn, and I'm just not into that. Often. <laughs> but what she did have was she had those containers. The containers that held the yarn. It was a nice safe little bottle and it had a hole in the top that you could put your yarn through. So that was pretty freaking cool. So I purchased both of those for a dollar. One was smaller than the other. So forgive my nose for being itchy. As the cool weather comes, so do fall allergies, I suppose. And yeah, that's it for what I did. I spent all of seven dollars on yarn this week. That and a purchase from Mother Frogging Yarns, and she'll probably get to that sometime soon. And I did buy some Mardi Gras from Ray of. I think he calls it down home yarns, but they're they're in the process of being dyed, so you won't see those for a few days, hyphen weeks, you know, no big whoop. I am hoping to catch one of Sadie of Yarnivore's uh, fame, some of her self stripings. I'm hoping to get some of that this coming. I think she's doing an update this Friday. So if you can do it, try to buy her uh, Fuji uh, kits that she's making, okay, because she's cool and she wants to do that for, damn, I forgot her name. Anyway, <laughs> the lovely dog that the woman who does wolf, Far Diana Wolf Farms, maybe, anyway. Her sweet little dog who has cancer, it, it must be super expensive. So, you know, when if you see something that people are doing for her uh, recovery and help her pay for the dog bills and all that, just, you know, go for it. Don't let it stop you. I'm thinking of getting a button. So, anyway, that's that for that what I'm hoping to get. Uh, let's go to works in progress. Now, I started this really pretty pattern. It's called the Brighton Sock. Brighton Rock, sorry. And it's really lovely. But I'm going to have to tear out my beginning because I've had such trouble putting on my socks that I've been making. So I made the largest size, and this is just going to be too darn big. This is a Halloween-themed so sock. The color is mutilated by Out of Step Dye Works. So we're going to just rip that out later on and cast on for the medium size. And I hope for the best for that, because... Oh, it was really funny. I was casting this on at a party. And someone mentioned that, Oh, that's a really pretty yarn. Is that for Valentine's Day? <laughs> no! It's supposed to look like I'm bleeding uncontrollably. So, <laughs> attractive thought, I know, but I love it anyway. Uh, I've been wanting to knit that yarn forever, uh, and that is that is a work in progress. And another work in progress is somewhere. <laughs> oh, here it is. Sorry, I just I would cast on during my breaks at work. 
a new to me hat pattern. It's called the Twist and Sprout Hat. Quick look at it. I'm not going to do the flower. And I cast on for the infant size, but it's a very big infant size. So I hope an infant can use this. I kind of guesstimated and measured it and it's going to be about 16 inches around so that's going to be a big baby that fits that or maybe the parents will have to give it to it later in the year as time goes but anyway I really like this pattern it's a real simple pattern simple pattern re p and it's only two rows so I'm looking forward to finishing that. Might even get to it tonight. So that's my works in progress. I'm also returning to my work on the Curse Breaker Shawl using Ella, La Ella Ray Lace. I'm working on that. And what else am I working on? Let me see. Oh, I forgot to pick up the Texture Day Corn Beanie by Wheezy Works. Oh boy. That has been really shoved to the back of the bag. Uh, I haven't touched it in ages. I'm going to have to rip it out, and I'm not looking forward to that. So that's why I've been avoiding it altogether. Sorry, Wheezy Works. I'll get to it. After all, I want to give it to someone for charity. Ah! Let's go on to the exciting bit. I have finished objects. I've done the next size up in the baby hit pip hat, and that is by Rainy Hanlon. And it is adorable. And that's an impeccable bright size 8 needles. Really awesome pattern. And I also did my first sideways crocheted baby hat. And that's Beverly A. Qualheim. And it's called Bev's Crocheted Baby Hat. Now for this one, it's just single crochet into the back of every loop. And then you sew it up together. And you, as tightly as possible, pull it in. And then it, it never really closed, no matter how tightly I pulled it. So I made sure to pop the... Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> I made sure to put the pom-pom on top of the hat. So that is it. But that's not all. I am very happy to say that my shawl, my skull shawl, which ended up as a knit alone, if I may say so, it is huge. I had to use my sewing blocker to do it. See, and I did a really simple mesh edging for it. Because for some reason I thought it would not be big enough. <laughs> but here it is. All done. And just in time for people not to give me really funny looks as I wear it. Because you know it's an all-year-round thing for me. I don't give a shit. So anyway, the Skull Shawl by... Oh, let me see if I can do her name justice. I can't. You know I can't. It's the Kungen Och Mash Kiss. I'm so sorry. But you didn't give your name. Uh, just the blog name. So anyway. It was a difficult start. But a really easy ending. I'm watching you. And 
with my finished shawl, I'm going to archive the thread and the crochet along is over and if you had started it and are thinking, oh no, I can't win the hand sponge she was offering, well don't worry about it. I'm going to put the hand spun into the pile prize for the Halloween knit along and we'll see if anybody can win it there and if you finish your shawl and take a picture of it and put it in the Halloween finished objects thread I will count it towards that okay so no big whoop I know people have lives darn them So anyway, that's that. I'm very proud with my finished objects. More for charity and a shawl for me. Hopefully I'll have some more things to show you next week. And that is it. I am about to cast on for this really cute design by Rebecca Danger called Greta the Captivating Cat. I'm going to make her in Halloween colors. I've even balled up the yarn. This is from Elizabeth of A Good Day for a Cupcake. And it's about a light worsted, um, heavy DK weight. And since it's a toy, gauge doesn't matter, so that'll be fun. I've read the pattern a few times and I don't think it should take me too long, but you never know. <laughs> I still have my bones, make your own bones, the skeleton to crochet and all that, so I'm going to work on that first before I dive into the dessert of knitting myself a cute Halloween kitty. And that's my plans. I've got more hats to start and... Some will even become Christmas presents. I've got an order for a red hat and a blue hat from Bridget, who you saw last week. Oh, what else is there? Yeah, that's about future plans. Now let's go on to stuff and junk. Now I mentioned the Halloween stitch along, so don't forget. Please join me in celebrating the Halloween and fall time, which is my favorite time, except for raking leaves, <laughs> and um, cross-stitch weaving, crochet, and knitting are all permitted. There's two threads stickied in the group. One is for chatter and inspiration. I'll post some pictures in there soon. and. One is for finished objects only, but I'm not going to be a hard ass. It's, I don't have the time or the will to delete anybody's thread or be a mod cop or whatever. So if you make a mistake and say, oh my god, I love your finished object, go ahead. Tell someone you like it a lot in that very thread. I don't give a damn. It's all about having fun. I'll just draw names or something, so... Blah. <laughs> um, what else is there? Oh, yes. What have I been watching? Mm. <laughs> that sounded dirty. Anyway, I started watching Supernatural and Good lord, I am freaking hooked on that show. Wow, I cannot stop watching. I am watching it at work. I am watching it at home. I am stitching to it. I am staring at the screen going, oh, What's that? What are they fighting against now? So, <laughs> so yes, uh, I am held wrapped by not only Doctor Who, but by Supernatural. And the movie I watched from Netflix this week is Perfume. It is a period thriller horror. 
and it is very tense and intense. It takes place during an imaginary fictional 18th century France and mostly in Grasse and Paris and it was based on a horror novel. I don't know the name of the person who wrote it but it was called Perfume as well and it's starring Alan Rickman who is a hottie. I don't care what you say. And Dustin Hoffman, who isn't too bad himself. <laughs> so, anyway, it was really good, but not for the faint of heart or easily offended. And it's all about a young fellow who is a little off his rocker, and he has a very good sense of smell. He loves all smells. But when he accidentally kills a young woman, he finds that that is the smell that he wants to keep in a bottle forever. And he takes up with a perfumer as his apprentice and he learn he te he goes through all these learnings about perfume and stuff and he is a murderer, serial killer in 18th century France and it's very intense fictional I would give it four skeins out of five it's it's well done it's a visually stunning movie so there you go that's the movie those are the TV shows I am anxious to see the fuck is it uh Sleepy Hollow, I really want to see that tonight, so I'm going to probably keep it short after this. Or, do you believe me? I don't believe me either. Mm, so let's see. Already told you about the thread closing down. Yada yada. I have a donate button on the blog if you want to help me pay for shipping or prizes. So... Let's go on to a special treat. I got the lid Simply Knitting in the mail about a week and a half ago. It came with a lovely pair of thick needles. I would say they were about 11, size 11 US. I don't see them anywhere. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I got this issue and there's not a lot to crow about in this issue. There's some good articles, um, neat things, there's a pair of pretty socks. I probably wouldn't make them though. You know, it's, it's an okay issue. Nothing I would go out of my way to buy, but the needles are good, I must admit. I'm just looking for my favorite thing. They've got the usual six gifts for school. I think these are really quite cute. I like the bottle, the bottle dude, and I like the change purse and the bag that you can turn into. Let me see here. Yes, that bag you can use for notions probably. That's pretty nice. All in all, it's not it's nothing to write home about. But if you love toys, Alan Dart has a totally new one and it's really cute. It's Horrid Hulk. Is that not the awesomest Frankenstein's monster? I love it. You probably have to sew every single damn thing, but the details are astounding. Sorry about the glare from the screen, but I love him. He's awesome. So that's about the highlight of this issue. Not much else to go on and on about. I mean, it's got the crossword, it's got the little puzzles and the cartoon in the back. Uh, fascinating. This story was very interesting. 
it was a but it all takes place in the UK so can't exactly just fly over to see the wonderland of handmade objects sadly but anyway the needles are nice for that issue it, it's one of the nicest needle things they've given and the Frankenstein monster is wonderful but that's about it for this issue of Simply Knitting. I wouldn't make any of the other items. Quite possibly not even the monster. Because, mostly because I'm already making one by somebody else. So, yeah, that's the review. Simply Knitting is okay this week. I tried to get a copy of the latest spin-off. I should have freaking purchased it when I was at the Fiber Festival where there were copies galore. Now there's nothing in the Barnes & Noble. Which kind of pisses me off. But I'll get over it. <laughs> so anyway, that's it I think for this week. Let me give you out all my information for you so you can contact me because I love hearing from people. I really do. I consider you all my friends and I'm so glad I'm still doing this and that you still watch me. So I want to thank you again for that. So anyway, who am I? Where am I? I'm on Ravelry as JD and it's always spelled J-A-D-E-E. -E. Okay? There's a group. I hope you can join it. I am a compulsive group joiner. So if you like my podcast, please join the group. You have to in order to enter the drawings that I do. And that is Twisted Strands Podcast on Ravelry. And you can find the podcast under my YouTube name, which is JD Doll. And you can subscribe to me there. The blog for the podcast is Twisted Strands with an extra S dot blogspot dot com. And you can find me elsewhere. I am JD666 on Plurk, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, I think those are the major ones. JD Huff on Facebook. And where else? I think that. Oh, email. Of course, I have email. JDALT at gmail.com. And I want to leave you with this note. <laughs> Stay cool and enjoy this fall season that is finally happening. And. Stay cool to my Australian and down under friends where it is starting to warm up a bit. And also, remember, no matter what you are doing with crafts, whether it's beading, upholstery, weaving, knitting, crochet, you, my friend, are making the world a more beautiful place. Alright, I will see you next Monday. Bye!